live streaming is bigger than ever. Over 1 billion hours of content being watched daily. And if you are a live streamer, just ask yourself, are you really in control? Are you really in control of the streamings which you are doing, the data of your audience and all of the data which you are creating? Or are you still being scared of YouTube demonetizing your content? In this video, I'm going to give you the solution to this problem. Also, you'll be able to stream with the DVR functionality where your viewers will be able to rewind, forward, pause and take a break from your live stream and keep continuing watching the live stream while they come back after doing their chores. So it's a really cool tool where you will have a one single dashboard to do multiple live streams from one single account, doing all the live streams in HD and have a ton of other functionalities, which will give you a boost to your live streaming journey. So if you want to have all of this solution, and if you're a live streamer, no matter you are, uh, how you have a sports event or you have an education event which you want to live stream with the complete control and no bullshit of ads and being demonetized then this video is for you because i'm going to show you a platform which will help you with a lot of functionalities to upskill your live stream so if you want to learn how you can do this make sure to watch the complete video and subscribe to this channel so without further ado Let's get into the screen. So guys, Zenstream.live is the platform which you want to use to upscale your live streaming. No matter you have events related to course, sports, music or anything where you will have a ton of additional functionality as compared to free platforms like Google Meet, Zoom or even YouTube to stream. So. One of the benefit is that you can have multiple concurrent streams from one single account. So you will have multiple streams from one single dashboard and all of these are HD broadcast, right? And you can have chat, custom chat for viewers. You can on and off. And most of all, this DVR functionality, which will give you the ability to replay, rewind, pause, record, and your audience will be able to pause the stream and like come on later on to continue watching the live stream. And they also have the API to start and and schedule those streams. So all of these free platforms doesn't provide you an API, meaning it can be controlled via your custom app as well. If you are building a mobile app or anything with the customized functionality, which can be controlled via API. So that's a really good added feature through which you can control and schedule your streams. And once your stream is ended, once your stream is over, you will get an automatic file saved on your dashboard, which I'm going to show you how it's going to look. And you will be able to embed your live streams on any of your website or any of your like WordPress website or any other CMS, which you might be using. So it will be an iframe HTML code, which you can embed to display your live streams wherever you want to display. And obviously you can connect this with OBS and other tools, which I'm going to show you in this video that how you can do that. And you can also have the domain and geo restriction. So if you display your stream only on a specific location, like a specific country, you can do that as well with the geo restriction. And this feature is also not available on these three platforms. You can do screen share, sharing your screen, sharing multiple screen and multiple sourcing sources using OBS software. And I'm going to demo you how you can make this work using OBS software, how you can connect it with OBS software. So let me show you right now that how you can connect it with the OBS software. Okay, guys. So here we are on zenstream.live website. And first I'm going to log into my account. I already have an account created. So I'm going to log in to my account and we will be creating a new stream and connect it with the OBS software and I'm going to show you how. So first let's log in. So let's add in the email address and add the password. And then log in. Okay. So here I am on the Zen stream dashboard where all of my stream will show up. As I said earlier that you can do multiple live streams from one single dashboard. Now, first let's create a new live stream 
and then connect it with the OBS. Okay, so click on this button to create your live stream. I'm going to name my stream. And then click on create. Okay, our live stream is being generated. So the stream credentials are being generated and it's going to take some time for getting generated. Okay, let's check out our stream credential as it's ready now. Here we are, we can see that our server URL and our stream key is showing up. So we're going to copy this and add it to OBS. So let's copy our server URL, open up the OBS and add our server URL in OBS settings. Open up our OBS application. And after opening up the OBS application, let's click on setting to paste our credentials. Okay, let's go to stream tab under settings. And now we will add our credentials. So here's our server. And now we will add our stream key. Click on copy and then paste within the tab of stream and add in the stream key. Perfect. Now let's click on OK. And now I'm going to add the source. So in this case, I'm going to add a, a recorded file to stream that recorded version of the video. So let's click on this plus sign. Then click on media source. And then click on OK. Now we will browse the local file to upload to add in the obvious software. Let's click on browse and then choose your file. So that's our file. I'm going to click on open and then click on OK. Now let's adjust our frame to cover it completely. Perfect. Now let's start our streaming by clicking on the start your streaming button. And here we go. Our streaming has been started and that's our dashboard. We can see that uh, that's our stream. We can click on preview button to check if our stream is working fine. So let's click on that. And here's the link for the live stream. Okay. Now it seems that our uh, test stream has been working fine. Now let's embed that stream on our website. Let's click on embed button from the dashboard. And here we have our code generated, which can be embed to any of the LMS or any of the HTML website or wherever you want to add in. Now let's click on copy and then go to the CMS of your website or whatever website you have. All you have to do is just paste your embed code, just like I have it here. Now I'm going to update that and now let's preview my uh, the preview website. And this is the demo. And here we have our stream showing up. Looks good, right? Okay, guys. So here's another test stream. And I'm going to show you guys how you can embed that on your website. So as you can see at this uh, second test stream, which is already running. And that's the preview of that stream where one of my video is currently playing on. Now I will embed this on my test WordPress stall. You can use any other stall. Basically, it will give you an iframe code, which you can embed on any of your CMS, whether you are using Magento, whether you're using uh, Shopify, WordPress or any other CMS, you can easily add that code. I'm going to demo that for you in the WordPress website. But again, you can use that on any of the website. So that's uh, the test stall of WordPress, which I have created. And I'm going to create a new page in that. And I'm going to show you guys how you can uh, embed your live stream on any of the website page. So I'm going to create a new page.
okay i'm going to name it uh, uh video cipher live stream click on publish and now i am going to generate the embed code by clicking on this embed button here and here we have this iframe code which i am going to copy and then paste it on my website so i'm just going to click on plus and here we have this option to add in custom html all of the builders or all of the cms have this type of element where you can simply add in the custom html code which i am going to do so click on custom html and now i'm going to paste the iframe code which i have uh, copied from the video cipher dashboard and then click on save and now i'm going to preview the page and here you can see that live stream is currently okay, let's preview that again looks like the video which i was running got uh finished so i am going to replay that video okay i have replayed the video now if i go back to my stream it should show up there let's wait for a few seconds okay here we go now you can see that video is again showing up and now if I go back to the page, which I created, it's going to display that on this page as well. There you go. So that's how easy it is to embed your live stream on any of your website page. One other thing I would like to show you guys is the DVR feature is that you can go back to the live stream while it's being streaming. So that's uh, the test landing page. And as you can see, I can uh, go back and forth to this live stream. So that's a really cool feature and this is all in HD version which is rarely available on any other streaming platform. So that was a demo of how easy it was to connect your Zenstream live dashboard with the OBS platform where you can add multiple screens, multiple sources and it is super easy. So all of the upsides of this platform you don't have, you don't have any downside just like the other platforms of uh, where you are worried that you can be demonetized and they have the ad showing up on the live stream and all of the audience and the data control is on their hand you don't have anything on your hand in this case you have all of the complete control plus once the live stream is over you have all of the data on your dashboard as a recorded file so that's it for the video guys if you want to learn more about the zen stream live from video cipher let me know in the comments below and i'll create an updated video of whatever question you may ask in the comment below. Until next video, have a great day.